Good morning. Welcome to Chemistry with Mr. Olson. This morning we're going to balance a couple of equations and we're going to um, use a three-step process. First we will assume one of the most complicated formula. Then we'll balance fractions are okay and thirdly we'll multiply to get rid of the fractions and that will give us our balanced equation. And here we have a problem. It's got a couple of reactants, a couple of products. We'll assume one of the most complicated formula. So this looks like the most complicated. So I'll assume one of that. Now that means there are three PBs, three lead atoms. So find leads in the reactants. Yes, here. And there's only one lead here. So that means this must be a three. And our assumption also means we have four phosphates, four PO4s. And we find phosphates on the other side. If we have four PO4s on the left, we must have four on the, uh, sorry, on the right, we must have four on the left. And now we only need this term here. Let's look at the sodiums. We have four times three, 12. So that would give us a coefficient of 12. There. Balanced. Uh, we didn't even need fractions because we uh, chose well which one was the uh, most complicated and that gave us a good result. Let's do the second equation. Looks like this term is the most complicated so we'll choose, we'll assume one of that. That means we have one aluminum, one aluminum, and three chlorines. Here's chlorine on the other side so we'll balance that with three chlorines. Now we have one last term to balance. It's a pure element. That's great. It won't throw out any of uh, won't throw off any of our other numbers. So we have three hydrogen atoms here. H2 has two hydrogen atoms. So we need three over two H2s. One and a half H2s will give us three hydrogens. And now the equation is balanced. We did introduce a fraction though, so we to get rid of it we will multiply by the least common denominator by 2. We'll multiply by 2. So 1 times 2 is 2. 3 times 2 is 6. 1 times 2 is 2. And 3 halves times 2, the 2's cancel, we get 3. And there are our coefficients 2, 6, 2, 3 for the balanced equation. Hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you very much. Have a great day.